the other day I placed my very first ad A couple minutes later some haters had done flagged it They did something that I couldn't believe My ads account got banned, I barely could breathe My chest started pounding, my knees started shaking I thought it would be easy, big money I'd be making I check it for a second then break it And for the record I recognize importance of having a Shopify mentor Welcome everybody, Chris Record here And today we're going to talk about YouTube marketing for your Shopify store, more importantly for your Shopify products. So I've got a notepad here, but I'm also gonna browse through some websites. We are going to talk about it and I'll do my best to stay brief. So when it comes to YouTube marketing, um, there are some ideas. In fact, let me pull some bullet points here. There's some ideas that you can do, right? So an example would be like you could do product reviews. That's an idea for something that you can do. You could do product reviews of items that you find on AliExpress or my, whatever it might be able to do, something like that. You could also do like, um, you know, videos that are, you know, how to or tutorial videos, you know, so I'll actually say product review videos. How to or tutorial videos, videos that show maybe how to um, use the product or something like that. Another one you might want to do is sort of like um, use the product in a video. So that would be an example of, let's say that you have a print on demand t-shirt or something like that. You might wear the t-shirt in a video and actually show what it looks like or show use of a video, um, not just how to use something, but show it in use um, and what it does. Anyways, there's a lot of ideas you can have here. So the concept here on, on a high level, concept would be find products that you think would sell well in your Shopify store and order them to your house, then use them in some way in a video for YouTube. Okay, that's a high level concept right there. Okay, um, if the exact same product is on Amazon.com, you can order it from Amazon and have it sent with two-day delivery, okay? Um, I've covered this before in a couple of videos, but I think it's important because a lot of people aren't doing it. Um, otherwise, just order from AliExpress which also helps you see exactly how the product comes, how it's packaged, and how long the delivery time took as well. Sorry. Quality assurance, which is essentially how good the product was when it got delivered, okay? So for example, you might order a necklace or a charm or something like that, and when you get it delivered, you're like, wow, this is really bad material. It could break instantly, and maybe you know it'll be a bad customer experience. So that also helps you when you order directly from AliExpress. Okay, when the video, um, sorry, when the product arrives, uh, film a video of the product using any of the strategies that we teach in today's video. Then, upload the video to YouTube and optimize it with good SEO, which is search engine optimization, including a good title and description that is rich with keywords that people might be searching for if they were looking for that product. Then create a great thumbnail for the product that stands out and makes people want to click on it. Also, provide a, we're gonna call it a pretty link um, to your Shopify store product page where they can purchase that product. Do not use a long, ugly link. You can create pretty links inside of Shopify or simply use a URL shortener such as you know bitly.com okay so that's that's kind of an example so again recap order a product from AliExpress um, take a video with the product upload video to YouTube 
optimize it for keywords, link it to your Shopify store to that product page. Okay, that's the recap. That's, that's what it is in a nutshell. This strategy is very, very simple. The goal with this strategy is volume, okay? It's quantity, not quality. Don't worry so much about having the best film equipment or the best lighting. Let's see, just take massive action, okay? In the future, you can have all that stuff, but just start out. The goal is to, we're gonna call this reviewing products, review as many products as possible to create volume of videos. Over time, you will get to see if they start getting visitors and converting. Don't expect to convert well if you have just one video. Make a goal to upload dozens, okay? This is a great strategy and um, before we get started, let me kind of go into some more bullet points here of what you, of what you can do, okay? So here's some tips, if you will. Um, we're gonna go tip number one. Um, find other YouTube videos that you can model after. Um, so find YouTube videos you can model after. That's gonna be tip number one. Tip number two, you don't have to be in the video. Okay, that's gonna be a big one, okay? Tip number three is gonna be not only finding these other videos and modeling after them, not only do you not have to be in the video, but tip number three, you can film video from your smartphone, okay? From your video from your video on your video camera on your smartphone. Literally, it's that simple, okay? There's literally lots and lots of ways to do this. You could be that simple. I've got an iPhone. You literally just put it on the video and you do it, okay? Tip number four, don't be boring. Use jump cuts to move fast. Okay, people have, um, they've got uh, a problem with attention. They have a low attention span. There's lots and lots of content being fed at them. Don't be boring. Okay, um, tip number five, can you film the video in less, in, in let's say, one to two minutes total. Okay, that's that's gonna be a big one, okay? So we'll just start right there and we'll start looking at some ideas. So what I wanna do is I wanna jump in and now I wanna show you examples of how to do this and we're gonna have some fun with it, okay? Try to keep your videos short, don't be boring. You can do them right from your smartphone. You don't even have to be in the video. You don't have to worry about whether you have a good hair day, a bad hair day, anything like that. And just find other videos to model after, okay? So that's enough. Now let's kinda jump into this strategy. So. We're gonna go over here to AliExpress and I was just looking up this thing called this egg slicer. Okay, here's a product that we're selling. Okay, it's a little egg slicer. There's lots of different versions of it. In fact, let me just kind of show you, first, third, first things first, let's look at a lot of different versions. You've got this egg slicer here, which is kind of like, you know, you can, let's click on it. Let's go ahead and look at it. So you, you got like the different pictures of it. Um, they've got it in different colors. You can get it in like a blue and a pink um, and different sizes and stuff like that. So this little egg slicer here is pretty cool. Basic little egg slicer, right? So let's look at some more examples. So you've got this egg slicer that's kind of like scissors. You've got this egg slicer right there. You've got this egg slicer, kind of like a cup. You've got all these like little egg slicers. Like look at this one here. Um, squeezes down and slices on it. Um, and then you've got this kind here, which is like more of like a metal kind, okay? So you look at all these and you go, okay, there's lots of different egg slicers. Okay, now you go, really? Is an egg slicer really gonna sell? Well, first things first, let's look at this, right? So, you know, you've got e-packet shipping. Okay, you always wanna choose e-packet shipping. And you look at the price, you got color silver. Your total price on something like this is $2.79. So you can literally sell these for um, a really low cost with free shipping or give it away for free, just pay for shipping. You can, you can set it up to, uh, any way you want. So literally, this is a, this, if you could figure out a market for this, this would be good. Well, that's where YouTube comes in. We talk so much about Facebook ads. Well, here's a strategy with YouTube. 
So now you have, um, let's go over here to slicers. Okay, let's go over here. Sorry, I was on something else. Let's type in egg slicer. Type in the same product on YouTube. So here's this egg slicer, right? Now, let's look at this and let's, let's look at ideas that you have here, okay? So just looking at this egg slicer, we're gonna use egg slicer as an example, okay? Example, egg slicer, okay? We're gonna go through right now, we're gonna go and actually do this as an example, okay? We're gonna use an egg slicer as the example. So first things first, let's grab an egg slicer product and let's paste that in here. Let's say that we're gonna go after this product here. Well, there's a lot, lot going on there. Let me just cut all that out really quick. Um, okay, so there's an egg slicer product. Um, and you can see here, like this product, this, this stainless steel product and stuff like that, you can see here that this is, um, you know, you can use these pictures, you can try to place ads and stuff like that, but nothing's gonna be more fun than a video. This is kind of a boring product. This could be done a lot better on video, and that's kind of where this idea comes in. So let's come over here, and you look, there's different types of egg slicers that they have. Um, but let's look at this right here. Let's start with this one. I was watching this one earlier. I might have to start this one over. Okay, there we go. So here we go. I'm gonna show you five different First of all, it's three minutes and 43 seconds. Your video doesn't need to be that long, but let's watch it. You can cut with an egg slicer. Okay, five different things you can cut with an egg slicer. So let's, let's actually start with this one, um, and let's just kind of go down here. Example video, okay? Um, five different things you can cut with an egg slicer. Okay, five different things you can cut with an egg slicer. Okay, that's kind of the video that this person is making. Now, that's not the name of their video. It just says, what can you cut with an egg slicer? But they say five different things, right? I'm using right? this metal one because it's nice and strong. He's using a metal one because it's nice and strong. So already you know that metal one is probably gonna display better in a video. There's probably more things you can cut. Of course, it's meant for hard boiled eggs. It's meant for hard boiled eggs, right? Once you've peeled it, you just put it through the slicer and you're left with the... Okay, so do you see how the video is kind of really quick? Um, before we go any further, let's go ahead and put it on mute and let's look at what's happening here, okay? Is this all in one take? Watch, he does that in one take. Did you know what he just did there? So he, just, he, he basically hit it down, he rolled it and that was in one take, but then it sped it up really quick to this part and now he's speeding up opening it. So all he did was he just put that in fast forward. You can use almost any video editing stuff and do this so easily. You just have like, he did he did regular motion when he was doing the effect of like hitting it, breaking it, rolling it, and then he did fast forward. That makes the video more interesting. So look, here he is, he puts it in there, he cuts it. See how he jumped straight to that? So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna, you don't wanna sit there and go, okay, now let me grab the egg slicer and let me put it down here. These are more fun. What he did was he did this and he just talked over it. So all you have to do is you can just like write up like a little outline of like what you wanna say about it and you could, then you could literally just, you know, match this up to it. There's, or you can do it in one take if you want, but you might wanna do jump cuts. Jump cuts are gonna make, instead of doing like a long video, you could do them fast. And then you have like a close up. See how he did a, a close up of this side? So all he did was he cut it and then he grabbed the, grabbed the camera and he kind of zoomed around to a different angle, got a little close up and he's showing how it cut. So see, if you look at it without the volume, it's almost even better because this gives you an idea of how to be able to do it. So now, now he's got another product. He's got a strawberry. So right off the bat, um, five different things you can cut with an egg slicer. You know, what he did right off the bat was um, a hard boiled egg. The next thing he's doing is a strawberry. Now here's the interesting thing about it. Nobody really, probably nobody's thinking about buying an egg slicer for a strawberry. So here's where the unique selling proposition of an egg slicer comes in. If an egg slicer is just a boring picture like this, then you know it's only so powerful. If it's just a little boring picture, look, all you think you could do with it is cut eggs, right? But, or maybe some common vegetables, but there's actually a lot of things you can cut with it. And the more that you can expand somebody's mind to what you can cut with this egg slicer, the more products that they feel that they can cut with this, it's no longer an egg slicer, right? It's a food slicer, it really is. It's a food slicer that cuts tons of stuff and it's a very inexpensive one. It's and essentially, it's free. So now you're dealing with, let's look how, let's see how it cuts with strawberry. See, it shows a close up of a strawberry and boom, and then he cuts it. And if the cut didn't work out, then just wipe it off, grab another strawberry and do it again. You know, do it until you get a good cut. Right? So now look at this. Now they're showing how nice and clean and simple that was. You can take a few tries if you need to. Right? He's showing how easy it is. You just do it that fast. There it is. You grab the strawberries out and you put it right there. 
So he's just showing a couple different angles while he's talking about it. And then he used a basic transition where the screen folded to go to the next one. That's like literally how easy it is, okay? Next he has a kiwi. Okay, so you know, now you might be thinking like, really, like a kiwi? That's crazy, it's got a, it's got a wrapper on it. I mean, sorry, it's got the, uh, the skin on it. All kinds of stuff, right? But it's fascinating. So he basically shows like what to do. He's showing cut the side off there, cut the other side off there. And now he's saying, and you're probably wondering, is he gonna put the whole entire thing in? What's he gonna do? No, he shows how to cut off the outside of the skin by using a little spoon like that. Now you got the inside of the kiwi, nice and neat. So see what he's doing? This is something anybody can do from home. What I'm showing you is literally something anybody could do. Then boom, he cuts it and he's got the little pieces, okay? And then he shows, you got him right there, you, what to do with that. And you kind of pull it out a little bit and he shows what to do with it. And even this one didn't look too good. I, I think he kind of messed up when he did it. <laughs> but it didn't matter, he still cut it. It still showed, now he's gonna try it again with a little bit of a firmer one. He's gonna show how to do it maybe from the side. Oh, maybe he's showing the wrong way to do it and then the right way to do it. Boom, there you go. So he showed the wrong way to do it and the right way to do it. Now, right off the bat, when I'm looking at ideas, okay, this person has five different things you can cut with an egg slicer. Um, before we even go any further, I'll, I'll, I'll say uh, what creative ideas can we get from this, okay? What if you had, you know, 21 um, foods you can cut with a, an egg slicer, okay? What if you had a list of 21? So this person has a list of five, but that's not even what their video says. Their video says, what can you cut with it? What if you went and did some research and found a list of 21 foods you can cut with an egg slicer? And then what if you made, make, and then what if your plan was, let's say, make one video of all 21 items, and then also make, an individual video of each individual item. So you would have 21 videos showcasing things you can cut. You know, and it might be example, example might be how to cut, um, how to cut a, uh, how to, let's say, how to properly cut, let's say slice, let's say how to properly open and slice a kiwi um, so that might be like the title of it how to properly open and slice a kiwi um, or you might go like kiwi hack how to um, uh, you know use this creative um, use this common household item to perfectly slice a kiwi Okay, Kiwi hack. Now, what you might do is you might, you might take that same exact title and you might go, you know, instead of Kiwi hack, you might do Strawberry hack. Strawberry, Strawberry hack. Use this common household item to perfectly slice a stri strawberry. Or you might change it up a little. You know, you're just, you're just looking for a way to change it up. Like say, Strawberry hack. Um, you might say like, Slice strawberries, slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item, okay? Strawberry hack, slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item, okay? So you come up with something like this. Now, what you're essentially doing is you're going back to, you know, um, you're going back and you're basically making a video like this and you're kind of showing how, how it can look. Now you take something like this right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a screenshot of it. Okay, so we're gonna grab a screenshot real quick. Uh, we'll call it strawberry. So when you make your video, once you make your video, you just grab a screenshot. This can be an individual video. Now what I'll do is I'll go over to Canva. I was working on something over here. We'll go over to Canva and what we'll do is we will um, show this in action, okay? We'll show this in action. We'll upload a, um, we'll upload that strawberry image really quick, and I'll kind of show you an example of of kind of what you can do with this. Okay, so there's the image of the strawberry, and um, you just got your strawberry image with Canva. You can put text on it, real simple, and you might want to just do text like that, like strawberry hack, slice the strawberry perfectly using this common household item. Um, so we might go something like, let's go strawberry.
strawberry hack, okay? Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to really quickly, um, let's see, kind of move this around a little bit. Let me move this down a little bit. Let me move this down. And what we're gonna do is we are going to see if we can make that a little bit bigger. Make that image a little bit bigger right there. Right there, boom, strawberry hack. Bring this down. See, this is Canva. You can do this really easily with Canva. Um, let's put it right there. Okay, so we're gonna go strawberry hack. Dun, dun, dun. So let's, make, let's make strawberry a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go, strawberry. Watch how, watch how simple this is. I'm gonna show you like how to, how to be able to do this really easy. So you got the word strawberry right there, right? Strawberry, and now we're gonna take this word hack and we're gonna put it uh, underneath it. And let's make hack like really big. People are gonna like the word hack. Strawberry hack. Let's even see if we can make it even bigger. Boom. So maybe make it like 90. Okay, strawberry hack. Let's make this one a little bit shorter to kind of match it. Let's make it keep going a little bit bigger. Let's say 42. Okay, right there. Okay, so strawberry hack. You've got it, you've got it looking pretty good. And then you're kind of designing this. You're becoming like a little bit of a designer. Let's make it right there. Let's kind of make those match. Strawberry hack, let's bring it up a little bit. Okay, there we go, strawberry hack. Okay, now we're gonna make some text here, maybe make this smaller so we could write a sentence about it. Okay, and what we're gonna use is that same sentence, it's gonna say slice the strawberry perfectly using this common household item. Let's just see if we can copy and paste that right in there. Let's go over here to Canva, copy and paste it right in. Well, let's delete this one first. Actually, I'm gonna to need to move this really quick. I'm using an existing template I already had, sorry. It's gonna to need to be changed just a little bit. Boom, move it over in, so it's all inside the box. Okay, so there we've got our stuff. Slice of strawberry using this commonly household item. And I might even say, um, let's make it a little bit bigger. See if we can get it all to fit in there nice. Let's get it, make it a little bit smaller. Something like this one, maybe go how to slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item, just like that. So there we go, we've got, we've got a video, look at this. Strawberry hack. And we might even, let's, make, let's get it all to fit in a little bit tighter. Tighten it up just a little bit. And this is all using a free tool. Let's tighten it all up just a little bit, a little bit tighter. Boom, just like that. Strawberry hack. So this is the this is the concept right there, right? The concept is you're basically, um, let's move it over a little bit. Let's get over here to the corner. Okay, once you have this done, strawberry hack, how to slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item. Now you've got a YouTube video thumbnail. Now this video thumbnail is gonna get people's attention because it's got the item, it's got the it's got the strawberry sliced perfectly and you can do a whole entire video just on this. It only took whatever that was, like a minute. It's picture number six. Let's download this, number six, download. And just like that. Saving the design. And that's all you do. You basically come in, you design a thumbnail. Now you've got a title. So you've got, you've got, your, you've got your video, which is your video of you slicing the strawberry with this food maker. You've got a cool title. You've got a really cool thumbnail. Now you've got to go in and make the description. We're gonna wait for this to save. Um, hopefully it saves pretty quick, if not. So um, so in this, in this example, you have filmed a cool video showing how to slice a strawberry using an egg slicer, which is the common object, okay? Um, and then you've got, you have created a very catchy title and a catch and a um, eye catching thumbnail for your video. Next, it's time to create a description rich with keywords and also with a call to action to buy the egg slicer. Okay, so description. Now, when you're writing a description, first thing you always wanna do is you wanna model after other people. So let's go ahead and let's look in here. You know, 
Use an egg slicer to cut different food. Fun kitchen utensil tip. Try slicing other fruit and vegetables, da 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 da. Okay, so look at the look at the words they're using in here. Egg slicer, food, cut. So cut, food, egg slicer, kitchen, utensil tip, fun, slicing, fruit, vegetables, mushrooms, strawberries, metal slicer, good quality. Um, so they're using a lot of stuff in here, right? But you could do even better. So first things first that I want to kind of teach you is uh, pro tip. Use um, an online website to find similar words that people might be searching for. Okay? Let's say example. You know this thing is a slicer. Okay? This is a, it's a slicer. Okay? So what are some other words for slicer? So let's just go, let's go slice. So let's think, let's just get a bunch of words for slicer. What are some other what are some other words? Now, if you're watching along right now, but let's let's go let's go over here to um, uh, I like to use a site called Word Hippo. Wordhippo.com, and it says what is another word for slice? Okay, so you can just take all these words, you can copy all these, or you can just grab the ones that you think are pretty good. Okay, so like cut. So let's just look at a bunch of these. Slice, cut, I think egg slicer, sliver, wedge, portions. So you can, and you can actually even just grab all these if you wanted, but you can start looking at them, chop, you know? So you, you as you start to look at them, you go, you go slice, slicer, slicing, sliced, slices. Think of like use of this cut, Cutting, cutter, um, and then you can, what are you cutting it into? You know, you're cutting it into a wedge, a piece, or maybe we'll even do the plurals. Wedge, wedges, piece, pieces, slice, slices, um, strip, strips, you're cutting into strips, whatever it might be. What you're doing is you're brainstorming words off of this, right? You got chop, Chopped, chopping, um, and you're getting ideas, you know. So you're getting you're getting uh, different types servings, multiple portions. So you're just getting ideas, right? Servings, portions, sizes, um, and let's see what else you got here. Carve, carve, carving carved, okay, um, and you get the idea, right? Strips, split, shred, slash, and you wanna think of a word like, okay, think of like the word kiwi, do you, sh do kiwi, can you share a kiwi, cut, cut a kiwi, carve a kiwi, divide up, cut up, so now as you start to like look at this, you start to come up with an, um, you know, try to organize paragraphs with these words in them that are readable and make sense. But you don't wanna just stop stop at those words. That's an example slicer, right? Now you wanna go and you wanna do, um, you know, you wanna, you wanna come in and you wanna get as many words as you can. Like, like what, are, what are like related words? You know, now you wanna kinda of come in and go, okay, can we get some related words? Related words might be kitchen, utensil, um, cutting board, you might be on a cutting board, um, you might wanna do food hack. You're starting to think, what are what are things that are related to this? You know, you might wanna do like, um, uh, it's something that kids would love, kids food, um, treats for kids. Um, that's a little, what, like you wanna think, what use would you have for those? What use would you have to slice up watermelons or slice up strawberries or slice up kiwis or slice up eggs? Like what use, you know, party foods, um, entertain guest, guest, you're looking for ideas, creative food ideas, um, you know, uh, you know, home party tips, um, what you start looking. Now, when you start looking at all these to expand it, start coming up with different ideas. Okay. So you've got, you know, um, Let's do like food hacks. 
And let's find a food hacks video. So let's see, six kitchen tricks. Food hacks, go to the description. Six useful food tricks you can use in your home kitchen. In this video, you'll see six great tricks you can use. Egg freshness, ginger peeling trick, instant mayonnaise, cutting board movement, soft butter trick. Um, and you can start to get ideas by looking at other videos. Six fun cooking tricks. So even right off the bat, you would do like cooking tricks, food prep, and keep going. And so you just kind of keep going and looking at look at a lot of these to get ideas. Become become good at it. See in the list of tricks in this video, you can also put like if you do the 21 different things, you could put them all right here. Um, now, and then also you've got like something basic, six amazing cooking hacks for your home kitchen. See how they're using home kitchen? See my other amazing trick videos here? Okay, five awesome watermelon life hacks you should try. So let's kind of look there and, um, and let's see. Like, so you got not much in the description there, but you could probably see what they're actually doing. You could probably look at their, there's, you know, you kind of like, look and see how they're slicing watermelons, what they're doing, 10, 35 unbelievable cooking hacks. Okay, so here's another one, 35 unbelievable cooking hacks. Go into the description, see if they have anything here. Okay, so no, they just got the music, stuff like that, but you can look at it and you can kind of see what they're doing. This shows how to pop um, seeds out of your cherries. Okay, this one shows how to how to uh, roll roll with a wine glass. So see what they're doing, they're making a bunch of like, they're making a bunch of items here. How to make a long egg, you know, kind of shows how to be able to make like a long egg. And um, let's see what this is. We kind of skip forward. Kind of shows how to be able to make it and what it looks like and how to do it. There's just tons of cool stuff. So you kind of can learn, you can see these and you can go, look, 500,000 views. Well, what if this was selling a product that showed you how to do it? And that's how you want to be thinking is that if this thing was actually selling a product showing how to do it, you know, you would be able to, you'd be able to pull this off. And so, you know, you gotta, you've got to like, um, what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna find products that essentially could be displayed in a video like this. You could either be on the video like this guy is, just set up a camera showing yourself doing it, or just film your hands like most of these things do. You know, most of these people basically show, and then look at the thumbnail here, 10 amazing egg tricks, and you just see like a, like an egg, you just see like a good picture of the eggs. So that's all you really have to do, is you just have to like, you just have to kind of learn from the pros, learn from what people are doing. Five million views, and imagine this was selling, like imagine if this sold materials, sold tools that you could use for all of this, you know? So you kind of can watch, like there's going to be products in this video, that's what people don't realize. Like, like right off the bat, here's a knife. So you could be saying, here are the products mentioned in this video. Here's, you know, you could have like a whipping, instead of a fork, Use like a use like a whipping tool instead of that that pan. Use a pan that you could sell instead of the knife. You can sell the knife. Um, you know, every time there's a product, you could say here are the products used in this. You know, so there's a there's a whipper, there's a bowl. Um, you, like what, let's say there was five products used in this. Like look at this this little this little uh, piece right here. This whole entire like this piece right here, the spray, the piece. You put some butter inside there. You can sell these. You could give these away for free. You know, I'll bet these are super cheap, you know, that show how to do it. So there's just really cool things you could do. 10, 12 crazy yet genius cooking, and this is just in the cooking niche. You can really figure this out in almost any niche, you guys. So it shows like all these hacks, right? You're showing, you look and see how this is, and you could repeat the hacks yourself. And look, it shows you like kind of cool stuff you could do, how you can make an automatic lid right there on your thing. So it just shows really cool stuff to do. Okay, you guys get the point. So what you do is you go and you watch these things, and you come up with ideas, whether it's food, whether it's anything. So here we have kitchen, utensil, cutting board, food hack, kids food, treats, party foods, entertain guests, you name it, right? Try to organize paragraphs with these words in them. So what you'd say is, um, you know, start off again with something close to the title. The title was, uh, what was it? It was something like this, strawberry hack. So I'd probably do something. I'd start off, my description would look like this. Um, let's go ahead and put it down here. Okay, let's go, here's my description. Okay, so I might start off with something like this, like strawberry hack. Strawberry hack slice, uh, you know, I'll say like, this will be something. How to slice um, this uh, this cooking trick. Remember we used the word cooking trick? So you kind of could go through like this cooking trick. Okay, we use that one. This cooking, this cooking trick is a fun um, home, kitchen 
food hack, okay? So look how I'm saying it. So this kitchen trick is a fun home kitchen food hack. Um, and you start like looking at this home kitchen food hack, perfect for entertaining guests, um, throwing home parties. And um, this fun home kitchen food hack is the perfect idea for entertaining guests, throwing home parties, and um, and having fun, and having uh, and having easy to make snacks for your kids. Okay. Now look at this right here. Like, look at this sentence that I just formulated. It uses cooking trick, fun, home kitchen, food hack. Um, idea, entertaining guests, home parties, uh, easy, snacks for kids. Okay, like look at all these keywords that are rich in there, right? So you've got, you know, the main thing, this doesn't even need to mention strawberries. This cooking trick is a fun home kitchen food hack. Um, this cooking trick is a fun hope. Let me see. That is that is the perfect idea for entertaining guests, throwing home parties, and having easy to make snacks for your kids. Um, and now describe it. You know, uh, in this video, we use a common household item, an egg slicer, which you can get free here. Um, let's see, free egg slicer. So what you would do is, you know, if you you would take your link to your egg slicer or whatever, you would grab your you would grab your long link. You would go over to Bitly, and you would create a short link. Okay. So what you would do is you'd go over to Bitly, you would create a bit link, paste it. That's a long one. Create it right there, and then you would change. You would customize it so it said like free egg slicer okay and now you got your your free egg slicer so now your link right here if I was just to type in bitly slash free egg slicer it would take me to my product page okay hold on oh cuz I'm linking to Aliexpress with a crazy long link but this would work let's go hold on let me do a better example real quick sorry for the bad example um, let's do my shopify.com egg slicer And let's just link to one. Okay, let's just try to find one real quick and see if they got a basic egg slicer. Okay, so here's an egg slicer. We'll pretend it's the same one. Okay, so you got that link right there. Let's go ahead and go to Bitly. Let's create it. And let's call this one free um, egg slicer free save copy now that one should work and if not I don't know what's going on with the thing yeah see how it worked all I did was I just typed it in bitly because I'm not linking straight to Aliexpress now I'm linking straight to somebody's Shopify store so you just create a little link bitly slash egg slicer free so now you've got you know you've got your link right there okay so look at look at my description coming together so here's my description okay how to slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item. This cooking trick is a fun home kitchen food hack that is a perfect idea for entertaining guests, throwing home parties, and having, an, having easy to make snacks for your kids. In this video, we use a common household item, an egg slicer, which you can get free here. Um, um, in this example, we chop up a strawberry into several slices that can be um, that you can use to sh uh, that you can use to make any dish more fun. You simply grab uh, the smaller pieces of the strawberry and use them to garnish any meal that you prep or even 
Just use them as finger foods for your kids um, or at a home party for your guests. You know, you start, you just start looking, you start putting together sentence of this stuff, you know? So let's grab another couple ones. Um, uh, so let's use some more of these. Slicing, cutting, chopping, serving. So we used a few of those. You know, you notice chop, um, slices, you know. Um, and you can have a few sentences here, okay? If you love serving quick and easy meals that look great and you know, children will love. Now what I'm doing is I'm using kids here and children here. See how I'm mixing it up, kids, children. If you, if you love serving quick and easy meals that look great and your children love, you will um, appreciate this strawberry cutting hack that perfectly cuts strawberries into slices with ease using an egg slicer. Um, if you don't have an egg slicer, you can get yours free. Just pay shipping and handling by clicking this link. And then you and then you paste your link again. Um, for more food hacks be sure to visit our, or sorry, be sure to subscribe to our channel, okay? So for more food hacks, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and then you're gonna wanna get like, what I like to do is I like to get a direct link for people to be able to subscribe. You can give them a link to your channel, whatever. This is the link um, right here that I would use. I would use a link like this, um, and you don't have to have the www, or even the s, but, youtube.com slash user slash your name. And at the end, just put this link right here. Question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. Okay, I'll leave this right here in the notes. Um, I'm gonna share these notes along with it. So sub underscore confirmation equals one. Um, this link will take them directly to a subscribe button. Okay, um, and then also at the end of your video, when you upload a video at the end of your video, you can have, uh, what you can do is you can actually put um, a call to action on the end of your video as well. So when you go in, um, when you're editing your videos, let's go into one, let's like go into one of my videos here. Let's see. Um, when you go in to edit your video, when you go in, um, this is like your YouTube editor, this is where you're gonna um, put in your custom thumbnail so all you would do is, is go grab your custom thumbnail here, put in your, put in your um, actually let's go grab, an, let's grab one of my old videos on the account so I can actually play with it, something that's not active. I'll do it right here in front of you. Let's just grab, let's grab this one here. And let's see. Okay, so here's, here's a live stream that I did. So this isn't active, hopefully no one will see this. Um, custom thumbnail, uh, and let's look and let's, oh sorry, let's go back to Canva and let's save that one. I don't know, I don't know whatever happened, I gave up on it there. There was a problem saving. Yeah, I figured. Um, here, I'll just take a screenshot of it really quick. I forgot about this little guy. Okay, so let's like watch. I'll show you how to upload it. Um, let's call this one Strawberry Hack Thumbnail. Just save it to my desktop for now. Okay, Strawberry Hack Thumbnail. Okay, so you go over here to Custom Thumbnail. And now what we're going to do is we're going to upload it. And it's going to upload it. All right, so you go into your YouTube account and you're gonna basically use, you don't wanna use these basic thumbnails that come, you're gonna wanna upload your own. Now I don't know, it's taken a second, so who knows if it's gonna happen fast, okay? Now, right here is where you're gonna put your title. Let's go grab your title. Let's go, da, 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 da. let's go grab it. Let's, let's pretend this is the actual, this is the actual one, okay? Um, okay, nice, it's, it's got, um, it's not showing here, but it is, it is there, let's see. Set as thumbnail. Okay, it should just come up in a minute. And you're gonna put your title there. Okay, your description is gonna go. There's all your. Dis oh, sorry, that's not your description. Your description's down here. Your description is gonna be all of this that we wrote up. Let's grab it all. 
Okay. And after that, you could obviously put more in your description if you have like social media profiles and stuff like that. Um, and I might say comment below if this food hack was helpful. And also, if you have any additional strawberry food hacks, you can share with us. Okay. And then you're going to put for tags, you're going to put things like strawberry strawberries food slicer strawberry slicer egg slicer um, let's say uh, you know and then you're gonna grab maybe like 10 of those keywords from up here that you had right 10 of these you know so let's just grab a bunch of them let's say um, food hacks um, kitchen utensil um, food ideas home party ideas foods for kids children meal plans whatever you could just put whatever grab like 10 of the things that were in there Okay, obviously you'd make it uh, public. You'd add it to a playlist that would be like your food hacks playlist. You would have a playlist with all that. And then there you would go. So hopefully this video isn't embedded somewhere. Um, that would be kind of funny. So strawberry hacks, slice of strawberry perfectly uh, to be able to do it. So now you've got it. It's not showing up here yet. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but chances are here. Let me, let me see if I can make it live really quick and see if, if it actually is. Hold on, this'll be funny. Let's make it public really quick just to see what happens. And let's go over to my channel. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we just made it public. Let's go over here to my channel and see if it's showing up at all. Let's see. Um, I don't know why. It, anyways, the thumbnails obviously work. I don't know why my thumbnail is not. Oh, there it is. See, this is what it looks like right here. See that? I'm gonna zoom in for you real quick. See, this is what it would look like right here. Strawberry hack, how to slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item. And it's got the close up like this. Strawberry hack, slice a strawberry perfectly. And then your video would be the strawberry hack video, right? And then this is what it's gonna look like when you zoom in on it. Um, the, how to slice a strawberry perfectly using this common household item. Now notice above the fold, the link is below the fold. The link is right here. And this video is a common household egg slicer. See, it's a link. It's got the HTTP, so it makes it a link. So this is all, um, I don't know what, what was supposed to be right here that didn't show up, but let's see. Da -da. I'm not sure why it had a big gap there, but anyways, what I might even do is I might even put the, the link above. I might take this one here with the link, cut it, and go and put it above instead. Um, let's put it above the, above the fold there, and let's see if that kind of helps a little bit. Save changes. Almost look, the the egg slicer still cut off. Um, in this video, we use a common household item, an egg slicer, which you can get free here. So I might even want to edit that a little bit more so it shows up above the fold, so people can click right on it. So let's work on a little bit more. How to slice strawberry using this perfectly common household item, an egg slicer. Let's just call it, do it right there. Let's try that and then save. And you'll see what I mean. So when you go to the actual video, there's this piece that's above the fold, which is right here. Um, let's refresh. Did it not save? There it is. Okay, so now this is the video that people will see right here. And then if they scroll down, look at this. How to slice strawberry perfectly using this common household item and egg slider, which you can get for free here. And look, the link is right there above the fold. They don't even have to click to show more. And they click that and it goes right to your Shopify store. So you're getting, you're, you're getting, um, you're driving attention from it, right? Now you've got this video floating around in YouTube and it's gonna have a good thumbnail. It's gonna be here on the right. When other, it, over time, when people start looking up things having to do with strawberries, over time, this will show up.
and it'll be here and people will be able to see it. People will be able to find it and you'll start getting some views. Next thing you know, it'll show up as a related video. These things take a little bit of time to mature in, but next thing you know, you've got a bunch of these and you've got a rich product description here, having a whole bunch of this stuff in there and, and it's pretty exciting. So this is what you do. You go and create these videos, right? So you go find products, you go find related videos that basically get ideas from you, order the product, you make your own video, you come up with your own descriptions, titles, all this kind of stuff and then you basically um, upload it, you optimize it and then let that video go. Now you've got a page um, that you're linking to here and then you just let, let this sit. Now you've got your store, you've got your egg, uh, you've got your egg slicer page. Now what you do with this egg slicer page, um, you know, might have a bunch of videos going to it. If you could think of, in summary, if you could think of like 21 different things that people can do um, with an egg slicer, then you could literally make 21 videos all pointing to this, right? So let's go sum in, uh, in summary. Okay, so watch this. In summary, if you can think of 21 things that an egg slicer can do, you can create 21 videos all linking to your egg slicer Shopify page. And you can embed all of those videos on your store blog as well and even transcribe them so that you have the text all written out on your blog post, which is good for SEO, okay? Um, you can even upload the videos to Facebook as video memes where you put text above and below them um, that grab the attention of the viewer and then boost them with ads, okay? So an example of that would be, let's go over to Facebook, hold on here. Let's go to my page, I know I've got a video in there somewhere, let's go to videos. Let's see, I got a video like this right here. This is what I mean right here. Like, this is what like a video meme is. Um, you've got text, you've got something on the top and something on the bottom, you know? So in this case, I trans I, in this case, I have the lyrics come on the bottom. You just take your HD video, put some black, put, put a black, basically I made it a square, put text on the top and text on the bottom. So what this does is this allows you to, um, be able to say like strawberry food hack, you know, strawberry food hack, something like that. Um, and that's, that might even, that's probably even better than this. Instead of strawberry hack, that probably would have been better if I said strawberry food hack and then maybe made that, that text even smaller or whatever. Strawberry food hack. Let's see, make it 45. Let's make it 46. Okay. Yeah, so something like that probably would have even gone over better had it, had it been strawberry food hack instead of strawberry hack. Like that, see, strawberry food hack. How to slice, how to slice a strawberry um, perfectly using this common household item. Something like that would probably be even better. Strawberry food hack. So that's all you have to do, you guys. It's a, it's a pretty cool idea. It's all you have to do and you can go and you can create these. You can, again, it's, 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 a, it's just one of many strategies there's lots of cool stuff you can do. I should probably go back and um, unlist this video. Hold on. I'm the kind of guy that if I don't do it live right now, I'll forget. Uh, let's just make that video private so there's no questions about it. Okay, um, so there you go. That's how to, uh, in summary, what do we do? We taught how to come up with ideas, how to, uh, how to put it all together. You could even upload them to Facebook as video memes, how to make it all happen. You guys, you should be use, You guys should be playing the long game, thinking of ways that you can create products in your store. This could literally have 21 different videos going to it, and then you move on to the next product. You know, maybe the next product that you do is instead of an egg slicer, you know, maybe you come up with a watermelon slicer, an avocado slicer, a spiral slicer, a vegetable slicer. Da 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 da. da. You could go through all of these. Like I saw one that was going pretty, pretty uh, viral: pineapple slicer. Okay. And then you sell a pineapple slicer, same kind of thing. Make order one, make a make a video at home of you doing it. Go to YouTube, uh, repeat the process. Pineapple slicer. Go and watch a few videos of people opening up pineapples just like this, and you could be one of them. 
Now look, this one's got 1 million views, 100,000 views, 20,000 views, 20,000 views, 1,000 views, 5,000 views, 100,000 views, all kinds of stuff. You guys can get it and you can make like cool ideas. And then you could also think like, what are some other foods you could open with a watermelon, with a pineapple slicer? There might even be more things you could do with it that are creative. The more things you could do with it, the more people are gonna wanna use it. They're gonna wanna buy it, right? So hopefully this um, message was helpful today. I will go ahead and share these notes with everybody and I look forward to seeing you guys in an upcoming episode of the 90 Day Challenge. Take care. The fellas out there stacking dinero. I rolled up in my 6 eight Camaro. They greet me with an iPhone and I started thinking the traffic from Insta my store could be getting. I'm ready. I need to scale my business real bad. You see, I've had a couple sales, but the rest have abandoned. Just the other day, I placed my very first ad. A couple minutes later, some haters had done flagged it. They did something that I couldn't believe. My ad's account got banned. I barely could breathe. My chest started pounding, my knees started shaking I thought it would be easy, big money I'd be making I check it for a second, then break it And for the record, I recognize importance of having a shop of five mentors